Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful, colorful, super dual earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have this bracelet matching the earrings that I showed in one of my previous videos. And if you hit the bell, you will know when new tutorials with matching videos are on and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting. You don't know how much of a support this is to my channel. I appreciate so much your support. You could definitely skip this intro because I have timestamps now, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you guys, thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this earrings project are four colors of super dual beads, white, green, purple and blue and here I use one color of 11 ounce seed beads in green light green color. These are earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up one white super dual. 1-11-0, one blue super dual, 1-11-0, you see, one white super dual, 1-11-0, then one green super dual and 1-11-0, then one white super dual and 1-11-0, and then a purple super dual in, in level all. okay so this is what I have on my needle uh, this here is green maybe it's not very obvious here I hope now you see it's green okay so I have six super duos divided by six 11 all seed beads or alternated by Six eleven or seed beads, and I'm sliding those down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here, what I want to do is make a knot, and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made, and pull gently, and then I will make one more knot. And when I pull, I will make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Okay, and in this way, I have a really secure knot, half hitch knot or surgeon's knot, call it whatever you like. Okay, and I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay. Okay, guys, and now I want to change directions. I'm exiting through the empty hole of this blue bead and as I'm going in this direction then I'm zigzag through this direction you see where my thread is now and now I prefer to flip it's not obligatory but it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed and now I'm going to take a blue color I'm exiting out of a seed bead and a white color I'm going into okay now I have this and again I'm taking white color I'm exiting out of I'm taking green a seed bead and I'm taking purple color I'm going into okay and I have this then again, color I'm going out of, seed bead, and color I'm going into, which is white. Okay. 
and again the same thing Okay guys, now I have this. Now I will do a similar thing. I'm going through this blue bead, the third one here, and I'm going back through its empty hole. Okay. Now I'm taking two blue beads and I'm going through the other blue like this. And I'm pulling because I want my work to be nice and tight. And here I will take just one seed bead. And I will go through the following white. And I will continue this adding two beads of this color, then one seed bead. But I want to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction it's not obligatory you could definitely continue in the other direction it's up to you okay now i'm going here taking one going here taking two green beads going here taking one seed bead and taking then two white beads and a good advice guys is to watch if the holes of your bead are there because sometimes it's rare but sometimes one of the holes could be cloaked like this one and if you go through it like this then at the next row you won't be able to go through it sometimes you could unclock it like in this case but it's not always the case <clears throat> sometimes you won't be able to do this so this was a short advice that i wanted to give you and i will continue this until the end this is my tail thread here that I want to cut because otherwise it will be on my way all the time and now I think it's time to cut it okay so now I have this and what I'm going to do in my next step is go through these two blue beads then change direction by going through this blue one and then again you could continue in this direction but I prefer to flip because it's easier for me now I'm taking one blue bead going here then for my next row i'm taking blue a seed bead and a white so the color i'm exiting out of one seed bead and a white bead and here i'm taking one white bead then the color i'm exiting out of one seed bead and the color I'm going into you see then one purple go here and I will continue this until the end and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and here i am at my last step where i'm adding the same uh, sequence previous color seed bead and next color i think it will be easy for you if you're up to here now i have this 
Now in my next step guys, I'm going through all the blue beads here like this and I'm changing directions. I'm going backwards through this blue one and I want to take one blue, go here. Then again, what I take is one more blue, go here. And I want to make here an additional step. I will go backwards in this direction through all of those blue beads. then go like this and exit out of this blue not this uh, blue here but this one from its inner hole and then like this and at this topmost bead here okay now i have this and then I will go in this direction and exit through all of those blue beads. And here at my next step, I need two seed beads. And I'm going in my next color, which is white. And that is why I'm taking a white bead, going through the following bead. Okay, this petal here is ready and I'm taking another white and I'm going in the next and I will do now this additional reinforcement through the beads where I add my last topmost bead by zigzagging here. I'm zigzagging like this, then like this, taking just one white going here at the top and then backwards through all of those beads now what i need to do in my next step is add two seed beads okay and go through the green now guys i will do absolutely the same thing that i did here and here I'm taking a green bead, going through the following bead, through its top empty hole. Then again, one, go like this. Then through all of the beads in this direction. And I do this in two movements. First, I go through this three, then through the next two, and then backwards like this, exiting out of this one here, you see. Because I want to reposition my thread here at the top. At these empty holes. And I'm taking one and going like this. Then I'm going backwards and I'm exiting at the right place where I'm going to start making my next petal. I take two and I go here in this white one like this. And I will continue this. If you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind and see these first three steps and repeat them from here. 
Okay, I will continue doing this and meet you here to tell you how to finish your work. Okay guys, and here I am almost at the end. Where I need to add my last super duo from this row, like this. And by the way, it's a good idea here to attach this one with a second thread pad because otherwise it won't stay in a nice shape. You could do it for the other petals as well. And you could do it at this stage, just go around the edges and reinforce them if you haven't. Now I'm exiting here and I need to take two seed beads and go here. Okay, now don't worry if you have this bent to your work, it looks cool. Now what I'm going to do is go backwards and exit here from this white bead. And how I'm doing it, I will be just zigzagging through my work. Okay, now I'm exiting here at the top and what I want to do is take my earring finding and I'm taking two seed beads, then I'm taking my earring finding and then I take two more seed beads. Okay, this is what I have here and I'm going back in circle through this bead here at the top. Now, what I want to do is reinforce this joint here. Okay, and now guys, what I want to do is uh, make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm making it I'm making here a loop and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then you could repeat this knot several more times when you're ready, go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and your earring will be ready. Okay guys, and now my colorful super duo earrings are ready. So if you like them and you wanna see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and if you do and hit the bell button, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I did this bracelet in one of my previous tutorial matching these earrings and you will be able uh, to see it and to be informed when I come up with new matching designs. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. And one more thing, thank you so much to all of you that comment, share, like, my content because you help me so much only with this action. I appreciate so much your support. Thank you and bye-bye.